opportunity to introduce you to Sol. Sol here is a beautiful dog that Ace rescued uh, about four years ago. Um, unfortunately, he was so badly injured by a road traffic accident that they had to amputate his leg. And he is such a happy dog now, um, even though he's running around on three legs, um, he loves receiving healing. And um, as we can see here, he's really uh, relaxed. There is no placebo effect with healing um, because what we are doing is he is adapting to the environment of being calm. He's building up trust. Um, he is the guard dog here at ACE. Uh, and his bark is quite ferocious if he doesn't know somebody. And what's really lovely is that, as you can see, he's really going to sleep here now. And um, he's been really enjoying the relaxation. And what is happening here is, is that we're relaxing the parasympathetic nervous system of the body. He's really starting to lay out now. This is controlled by the adrenal energy, the fight and flight mechanism, which is the autonomic nervous system. But by giving uh, this wonderful healing energy, um, it's wonderful to release the parasympathetic nervous system, which all animals can benefit from, and humans. And here at ACE, um, ACE Animal Care Egypt are doing such a magnificent job, not just with horses and donkeys here, but also with dogs like Sol. For all our canine friends back in the UK, there are many dogs that need healing here. And all money that is um, raised through donations through Animal Care Egypt, um, some of that money will be allotted to the small animal unit that takes place here. Uh, we are videoing this on a Friday, it's quiet today. Um, because today is a religious day and um, so people won't be bringing so many animals in today. Here we have Paige, um, who is a member of the Healing Animals Organisation. And uh, we are working with also some of the cats here in Luxor that find their way here to Animal Care Egypt. And um, the wonderful work that the vets do here. So uh, Paige, can you tell us a little bit about... What do you know about them? Well, all we know is they were brought in yesterday with just the two of them like this. Um, no mother. Um, we don't know what's happened to the mother, whether she's died or whether he just didn't want the kittens, but he brought them in. They're probably about six or seven weeks old, so they're still quite reliant on their mother's milk and and for comfort and everything so but we don't have a mother. You no, have so, been personally yeah. feeding them some mackerel in yeah. some oil at the moment. Yeah. And we're going to try some warm milk today with a pipette yeah. so that they can suck because I think they still want to, to suck, to suckle. And uh, we're going to give them a little wash and make them feel nice. And I understand you've just got a, a, hot, water a, a hot water bottle here. Um, even though we're in 30 degrees heat here, these dear, dear little kittens are missing the warmth of their mother and they've really nestled in beautifully now to um, Paige. And... Um, it would be just so lovely to uh, just show everybody how beautiful these kittens are. Who could honestly abandon these beautiful kittens? Um, what have you named them, Paige? Well, apparently this is Joseph and the little girl's Mary. I see. Lovely. I think that's very apt. Um, and how important is it for you to be here at ACE with the Healing Animals Organisation? Well, it's very important that these animals um, get the help and the people get the help to treat their animals and, um, you know, uh, helped with any necessary treatments that they need. And we can see here that Joseph is, is feeling quite strong because when I saw him yesterday, he was incredibly weak. And even just in the space of 48 hours, he is um, really starting to be curious about yeah. life. And I understand that you've already found a home for them, Paige. Yes, one of the vets uh, here um, has got a friend who's going to take them. Yes. So hopefully with a, a, a friend who's a vet, they will get all the proper care and attention that they need. Yes, and I believe that you've got some instructions for yes, them. Yes, absolutely. 
they just need to keep having the warmth and the kindness. Um, you know, cuddles, lots of cuddles, lots of... <laughs> yeah. You're licking Suck me. in your ear. Yeah. <laughs> And as we can see here, Soul is still relaxed from his healing, um, just uh, licking and chewing here um, as uh, he's just processing the healing that uh, I have been giving him uh, this morning. And uh, he's just going to move over onto the other side, which is, which is great because um, I can continue my healing. And there he goes. He's so relaxed. There is activity all around us. And um, he is still very relaxed after his healing. No placebo effect with, with healing. Um, he's really just adapting to that. Yes, soul. Um, it's, it's beautiful. That beautiful waggy tail, everybody, which is so incredibly important. Um, and, um, and he looks very content uh, with this healing.